bottom of the lack of oomph for this, uh, this little Wolverine has. It should have more get up and get up and go, more torque. It runs good, but it just doesn't have any giddy up. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what what the deal is. Could be piston rings, or it could be valves. Maybe uh, something blocking the valve way, or valve adjustment, or that kind of thing. So we're gonna start with just a general compression test to see if it's changed. Spark plug's pretty black. Well, well, I it should be, a, should be a little brownish in color. I mean, this isn't the best gauge either. I had a snap on, but it wouldn't plug into it. With the engine warmed up, throttle wide open. Ready? We're going to give it full. I'll hold the throttle and yeah. pull it hard like four times or five times. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my it's still God. going up. There, stop going up. 90, 92. Hold the gauge like that and the throttle wide open. Still going up. Still going up. Still going up. Keep going, keep going. You're going. Stop. 100. Let's do a leak down anyway, but here, starter would work. Because you can just hold the electric start, right? So this is the OTC leak down tester. It's the same deal as a compression tester, but instead of taking pressure out of the cylinder, we're going to put pressure in the cylinder. We're listening for leaks around coming out of the exhaust, and we're listening for leaks coming out of the carburetors. We're also listening for bubbling or leaks coming out of the, the oil. Spark plug come out, and then we'll take the cover off the other side to line up the timing marks. That looks brown, doesn't it? Yeah, that's brown. That's the way the spark plug should look. Right? So, that's good. Another one, Dad. Holy crap, it's the ATV show. Yeah, and our quad's broken. It's not broken. I just ran it. I just want it to be right. If I'm going to do 500 kilometer trail rides on it next year. <laughs> you have a 17. What's this is in the 18? So I'm, I'm watching in this hole for the line and the T. I'm turning counterclockwise. I'm going to pull this back here. You know. Here, I can now see it. Keep going. There's two, there's two top dead centers, and the one is on lap stroke. I thought there was a T that And made. one is, there is, and one is on the uh, power stroke. Or oh, there's is no T. There is a T. We've seen it. The T has disappeared. It's F. Okay, that's the thing. T was right after it. There's T right there. Yep, that's a T. And there's the line. Take this cover off here so we can see the valve timing line. Well, that's always a good smell when you're going to open the engine. So you got a light in there. That's there's the that. line there. We got to go around one more turn. Okay, let's see. There, that's top. Now, where is it on that one? Per that's perfect where this is right now. Um, let me grab a Sharpie. So when you're holding the wrench on, you know where to hold it. This has to go back on. So what you do is you, uh, this here will let you, you pull it out to lock it, and then you open it. It'll let pressure in. And it'll feed in here, and this measures the loss on the on the cylinder. But what we want to do is we want to before we we want to get a get a socket on the flywheel. Yep. And don't move it. You want to hold right. it with the breaker bar at those lines. At those lines. 
Please. So we've got it top dead center. We mark the lines there. He's got the breaker bar. Wow, that's hold it. that's convenient that it lines right up on the plastic, isn't it? So then what I want to do is I'm going to spray around the cylinder head with soap. And then all I have to do is watch for bubbling, right? Yeah, it'll be like a leaky tire, right? Yeah. I'm going to connect this in like that, and I'm going to slowly I'm ready. let pressure in. Okay, it's starting to go, the pressure. Okay, I'm watching the bubbles and I'm gonna watch the rest. Just listen, shh. You wanna, you wanna turn this in slow. So that it doesn't kick back. And I'm just watching for pressure loss. We wanna go up to 100 PSI. It should be 90 reading on the left or something like that. 10 PSI. Holy crap. Is it pushing back on you? No, I'm just worried that it's going to because you're starting We're at to 100. Move. We're almost 100. It's not pushing at we're all. At, we're at 95 PSI. And we... So there's there's air. Where is it coming from? The air box. Shh. Is it... Pull the seat off. It's coming from the air box. 100%. So it's leaking out the, the intake valve. So we have an intake valve leak. Okay, so let's uh, let's turn this down, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to turn the we're going to turn one revolution on TDC and, and go, see if we were on valve lap. Oh, yep, yeah, you're, you're at the T. Okay, the, just in case we we're on valve lap, meaning both on, the, on the other stroke, both valves are slightly open. Yes. If you can pull the valve covers off, you can actually hit the rocker arms. If they move, if they're not tight. That means both valves are closed. But in this case here, we don't have that access. So we're just, you don't have to do this, but I think we were right. So it's an, it's a valve problem. So it could be dirty valve. It could be a valve seal. Okay, we're gonna yeah, put some dressed. air to it. Ready to go. Yeah, right away. It's still coming out there. 100%, look at this. Yeah. You wanna put your camera up here? You can hear it. See, we're way, we're only getting 70 in right now. You want to turn that one one more turn counterclockwise, sure. put it back to where we had it. I want to listen. We know that was valve power stroke because we checked the timing mark. What we want to do yeah. is we're gonna we put the engine back to top dead center power where we originally were. We're gonna feed it some air, and I just want to listen to the exhaust as well and see if there's any sound coming out there. So are you ready? Yep. So Drew's Drew's holding the the breaker bar so that it's not going to spin out on us. I'm going to start feeding some air into this slowly. You can hear it right away. Do you want to go listen on the exhaust? Yeah. If you want to put your hand over that. Definitely not there. Huh, I slightly wiggle at the resistance. Anything? Not really. Just everything coming out of the curve. Okay, so we've completed the leak down test. You can hear we're getting air coming out the carburetor with both valves should be closed. So it tells me the intake valve is not closing all the way or there's a bad seal on their bad valve guide on the intake valve. Um, so that head's either got to come off or we're going to have to do some inspections inside the valve covers. But we've looked everywhere else and it seems good. There's no bubbling around the head gasket, but we are losing. We have more loss out the air box than what we're going to, we'd love to see. Um, so... I think this has been a success to see that we are, we do have an issue with the valves. Which is an easy fix. There is a loss of power because of that. So I don't think we're in anything too difficult. So stay tuned.